Well, hello friends, happy new year and welcome to 2023. I trust that you had a great festive season with your family and friends. It's unbelievable that this year is underway. I know this is a time of year when we make decisions, we make resolutions, and we're all excited about the things that we want to accomplish in 2023. For a lot of us, we get so excited about the year, we come up with a long laundry list of things we want to accomplish. Life happens, things get busy, and before we know it, things have fallen off when we're not able to accomplish nearly as many of them as we thought we want to accomplish. Over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be sharing four tips that will help us make and keep our goals for 2023. And it's based on a principle that I call DARE, D-A-R-E. And no, it has nothing to do with AA, right? For those of you who are familiar with that. But it's really a simple acronym. D stands for decisions, A stands for act, R stands for reinforce, and then E stands for evolve, right? And we're gonna be unpacking this over the next few weeks. But for today's video, I wanna focus on D, which has to do with decisions. What decisions are you going to be making in 2023? The late Jim Rohn once said that the decisions we made yesterday have brought us where we are today. And the decisions we make today will determine where we end up tomorrow. So before we start on any type of resolution or goals or objectives or things we want to accomplish for this year, we got to make sure they're based or grounded on the right decision making, right? How do you typically make your decisions? Do you make your decisions on a whim? Do you make your decisions because someone told you to? I make decisions based on a lot of self-reflection, a lot of prayer, a lot of meditation to make sure that it's truly in line with, with what I want to accomplish this year. So pick three or four things that you want to accomplish this year. Decide thoroughly on why they are important to you and why you want to accomplish those things. Don't, don't make them too long because when you make them too long, you stand a greater risk of falling off the wagon, right? I have four things this year that I want to accomplish, or four goals, really. One has to do with my spiritual uh, life, one has to do with uh, my family, one has to do with my health, and then the last one has to do with my personal development goal. Just four areas, right, which I've already identified, I've thought about, um, that I want to accomplish this year. So, what do you want to accomplish this year? How are you going to make those goals happen? What decisions are you going to make this year to ensure that those goals or those resolutions come to pass for you? Right? So my question for you today is what decisions are you going to make this year? Or how are your decisions going to impact the goals that you're looking to accomplish this year? And that's the D. So stay tuned. I'm going to come back in the subsequent weeks to talk about the other three. But until then, thank you for watching. And as always, think on these things.